Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Hi, great two. How are you today, girls? Today, inshallah, we will take the animals that live in hot and dry countries. But before this, we wanted to revise on the last lessons. Okay, you remember this? We live where? In the North Pole or South Pole? No, we live in the Middle East part of the Earth. This is the Middle East part of the Earth. And the countries in the Middle East are hot and dry. So there aren't many different types of plants and animals in the Middle East. There are few types of plants and animals in these countries. And here we took some examples of animals and plants that live in hot and dry countries. Camel, goat, lizard, snake, butterfly, locust, gerbil, moth, finch, date palm tree, olive tree, desert rose, French tamarisk, panor nava flower. After that, I ask you, which place do you want to live? Here or here? And you choose this. Why? Because the weather here is good. It's not hot, not cold. But here is very hot. There is water here, but there is no water here. There is shadow here. There is no shadow here. So we, lo we love or we like to live in this place. After that, we talk about the living things that they are. Animals and plants. Adaptation means what? The things that animals and the plants do. Why? To stay alive. Like this girl here. This girl wear these clothes in the cold weather. She can't wear these clothes in hot weather. And this girl here wear this dress in hot weather. She can't wear these clothes in hot weather. Why? To stay alive. She try to stay alive. After that, we talked about the plants that live in hot and dry weather. Plants that adapted, adapted means try to stay alive in hot and dry weather. They have what? They have thin leaf like this. No, they have thick leaves. What is the meaning of thick leaves? Bigger from inside the leaf. The leaves of the plant are thick from inside. Why? To keep cool and to, to save water, to keep water inside it, to keep water inside it, to stop water escaping, to stop water moving from it to outside, to stay alive finally. Why? Because these plants are in hot and dry places. They can't find water. They can't find shadow. So these plants try to keep cool and Stop moving water, stop water escaping. So they have thick leaves to keep water inside them to stay alive. Today, inshallah, we will talk about the animals that live in hot and dry places like elephant, like camel, lizard, gerbil, snake, bat, moth. How can they stay alive? How can they stay alive in hot and dry weather? How can they keep cool and save water like plants? How are you girls? Can you tell me? Elephant and the camel. How elephant and the camel can stay alive and can keep cool and save water inside their bodies? How? Okay, look with me. Can you see elephant here? Can you see the skin of elephant? What is the meaning of a skin? This the outer part of its body. Outer part of its body. Like your skin on your body. Your skin on your body. Also elephant have this layer, this part, this part, all of this outside of its body. This is called what? Skin. Okay, the skin here is thick, bigger, from inside or thin? What do you think? The skin here is thick or thin? Of course, the skin here is very thick. So the skin of elephant and the camel is very thick. Why? To keep cool and save water. So here, animals and the plants that live in hot and the dry countries live by keeping what? Keeping cool and saving water.
keeping cool and saving water. They keep cool and they save water to stay alive. Why? Because the places are hot and dry. So they try to keep their bodies cool and to save water inside their, bod their bodies. Elephant and the camel have what? Have thick skin. Have what, you girls? Thick skin. The outer part of their bodies, outer part of their bodies, it is very thick, thick skin. They have thick skin to protect them from what? Protect them, keep them from what? Protect them from what, you girls? From camel, from lizard, from cool, from water, from what? Ha, tell me. To protect them from the sun. The sun is not here, sorry. I forget to write it. So, elephant and camel have thick skin to protect them from the sun. Sun is very hot on their bodies, so they have very thick skin. Okay, now lizard, gerbil, and snake. They hide from the sun. Where? They can hide where? Can you see this? This is called what? Barrows. Called what, you girls? Barrows. B U double -R, R O W S Burrows. Can you see the burrows here inside the sand? They dig inside the sand and they make burrows like this. And you will see a video on this on Classera. And here, can you see this snake? This snake try to put its body in burrows like this. So they hide from the sun. Where you girls in homes like us? No, in burrows or under rocks like this gerbil here. This gerbil is under the rock. Can you see the rock? This gerbil is under rock. Why? To hide from the sun, to protect their bodies from the sun, to protect their bodies from the hot and the dry weather, to keep cool and to, to save water inside their bodies. So elephant and the camel have thick skin. Why? To protect their bodies from the sun. Lizard, gerbil, and the snake hide from the sun. Where? In burrows like this holes. Can you see this? This is holes inside the sand. They go inside the sand. They enter the sand or be under the rocks like gerbil here. Why? To keep cool and save water. So they hide in burrows, burrows or under rocks, under rocks. Bat, this is called what? Bat and moth. They live in hot and dry places. So how can they keep cool and save water? Huh? They hide in burrows like a snake and the lizard and the gerbil? No, they have thick skin like elephant and the camel? No, but they come only out at night. So, during the day, they sleep, they are sleeping, but during the night, they come only at night. Why? To keep cool and to save water inside their bodies. So here we have animals and the plants that live in hot and dry countries live by keeping what? Keeping cool and saving water. How can they keep cool and save water? Elephant and the camel have thick skin to protect them from the sun. Lizard, gerbil, and the snake hide from the sun where in bars what is the meaning of bars holes inside the sand they go inside the sand they enter the sand or under rocks so they hide in bars or under rocks bats and moths how can they stay alive in hot and dry places how can they keep cool or save water how you girls? They only come outside only at night. At night. Thank you, grade two. If you can't understand any point, please send me a message. Bye bye.